doubles match to go. Then we move to mixed doubles next. Hunter Johnson will be the first serve. With Tyson on the receive, and that is a nice pass for Hunter Johnson out of the gate. Hunter had a great run in Vegas, had ran into Federico Staxrude, and almost beat Staxrude on his way to a potential quarterfinal there, and he couldn't break through. One for two on the pass attempts on the forehand side for Hunter Johnson. And I know there is a seed discrepancy here, but I think that this is relatively close to a push. Yeah. I would give a very slight edge to the crime dog Tyson McGuffin in this matchup, but Hunter Johnson's a stud. Ooh, painted corner pocket from Tyson, who is always going to be looking for a massive amount of forehands after the serve. You can actually put a counter on uh, the backhand ground strokes for Tyson. And if it gets above five or so, he's at a pretty big disadvantage. Uh, so that is definitely his weaker wing. Tyson McGuffin made it to the quarterfinals in Vegas a couple of weekends ago. Got knocked out by his buddy, Jaume Martinez Vic, but also had some great results recently. Missed first volley from Tyson. And another thing to monitor in this match is the backhand slice return of Tyson and the ability of Hunter Johnson to create an insane amount of topspin on both his forehand and backhand. And we see an example right there on the backhand side. When a player goes to slice, it makes it easier for their opponent to come up with topspin. So uh, that is a little game within the game we'll have to monitor. Inside out goes Hunter Johnson, so swift with his movement. Yeah, and the contact point, meaning where he is in the court. He's about five or six feet inside the baseline when he is striking that inside out forehand pass. Tyson has to be very careful uh, with his return depth. Yeah, and we have an early stoppage of play here from Tyson down 5-1. Matchup. On the run. Jeez. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh my goodness. Ouch. That was almost full splits. We saw that. That is good. Whoa, my goodness. A little, <laughs> He's break dancing now. Get him into the Olympics. <laughs> yeah, a little judo move there. I don't know what it was, but that was impressive stuff from Hunter Johnson. Oh my. The flexibility. My goodness. What kind of yoga routine are you doing, sir? How about that? Backhand beauty at the kitchen. Yeah, good stuff. I mean, Hunter Johnson is looking fantastic. And not just in one aspect of his game, really the whole package right now. Still very early, but you can't really ask for a better start. Yeah, that's a nice combination up at the kitchen from Tyson McGuffin. And the backhand volley of Tyson McGuffin is going to be huge in this matchup because Hunter has a great inside-out forehand, and he has a great cross-court backhand pass. Tyson's backhand volley has grown leaps and bounds in the last couple years. So that is definitely something we'll keep an eye on. Yeah, in what ways is that true for you? I'd love to know after this Pace. The, the, the pace has really picked up, and he does a great job of punching it up the line either. Are also, so it's not just an either or. Uh, he can go cross court with it or punch it up the line. And to have both of those options and kind of keep your opponent guessing is really nice. These guys, these guys move so well and anticipate so well. If you can only go to one spot, it doesn't matter how good your shot is, you're in trouble. Well, much like Paris Todd, Tyson McGuffin has a lot of fight in his game too. So you really can't ever count him out though. Nice. 7-1 start for Hunter Johnson. Yeah, and it's, when it rains, it pours. This is some tough stuff for Tyson and some great play for Hunter. And I, I agree completely with you, Michelle. The intangibles have to go on the side of Tyson McGuffin, not because Hunter's mentally weak or by any means, just that uh, Tyson's such a dog out there. Oh my, another split. My gosh, he's gonna rip his shorts. Yeah. 
<laughs> Better be careful. Yeah, let's let's hope it's the shorts, not a muscle. My, <laughs> my goodness, up to help him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, you can, <laughs> and you can you can see the explosion. The guy in the crowd, did you see oh, his face? Oh no! That's awesome. <laughs> oh man! The guy behind oh, Paris was like, "Oh, ouch!" <laughs> Here's an update for you: Lynette Patega Mata moving on to the quarters. It's a nice win over Yudit Castillo. She's really been working hard at her game, Lina. McGuffin adds another. Just steep. Massive serve, and maybe the serve was too good because <laughs> that return was so short. Uh, Tyson ran out of court to work with and just uh, hits the forehand about a foot long. Jammed up. So just a, a serve from Hunter Johnson and Tyson stepping to his left to look for a forehand return and cannot clear his body out of the way. That's a nice slapper, perfect read from Tyson McGuffin and he set himself up beautifully. There was nowhere else for Hunter Johnson to go but down the line. Nice. Yeah, Hunter just kind of throws his hands up like, okay, I'm gonna make you hit. If, if you can hit that 11 times, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose a game, but I'll take my chances. What a shot from Tyson McGuffin. Fadeaway volley on the run. Just long was the call from Hunter. Oh no, he turns it over, says it was good. Guaranteed pickleball play every week. No hassle, no paddle stacking lines, no worries. Join the Pickleball League today and up your game with competitive, consistent, well-matched play. Connect with your local leagues, check live rankings on your phone, and play with ease. Whether you're there to socialize with your community, network across the net, or have fun playing your favorite sport, leagues are a stress-free way to enjoy your play. Find your closest league at pickleball.com and click leagues today to get started on the left leg of Tyson McGuffin. There's, yes. all, there's always something new in the sport. What's he gonna put on the right leg uh -huh. is the question. You gotta you got match it up. Wow. Okay. What happened there? Yeah. Head scratcher. Ooh, footfall, that was an unpredictable return from Tyson McGuffin though. Hunter Johnson had a hard time handling it. He'll get the game point thanks to the footfall. Yeah, Tyson uh, leaning the wrong way, and sometimes when that happens, sure, it can cause an error, but it can also cause a foot fault. Hunter Johnson will take the first 11-4 off the miss for did in that match, and even Federico Staxford admitted to Hunter that he had him on the ropes. He would have been a headliner from Vegas, but couldn't close him out. Uh, fellas trading back-to-back -back deep misses and Tyson just shaking his head and chuckling at that last miss. Can't believe uh, he came up with that unforced error. That's deep two for Tyson McGuffin, a slew of errors. Yeah, I talked about the power on the backhand volley and that's back-to-back -back backhand volleys long in the court. Winner of this one will face the 22 seed, Naveen Beasley, who advanced due to the withdrawal of Dylan Frazier. Yeah, that guy's got some game, though. I know it was a withdrawal that got him into the quarterfinals, but uh, that, that guy's tough. Jeez, what a combination. Nice. He is firing. But so to, compact. Yeah, and to touch on your point, though, Michelle, starting hot, finishing hot, two different things. So this is... Uh, you know, a legend of the game that he's playing and a guy that's still playing at an extremely high level. So Hunter needs to stay dialed in and getting freebies. That is two return errors and two first backhand volley errors from Tyson early in game two. That just can't happen. And make it three on the return side. That's five. That is all of Hunter's points right now are gifts from Tyson.
Wow. Okay, that first one was maybe going to sail long, but a great follow-up by Hunter Johnson. Yeah, Hunter Johnson's inside-out forehand. Uh, I mean, it has to be top five, if not maybe top three. It is so good. Oh, drop volley, another split performance for Hunter Johnson. This guy yeah. put him in gymnastics. Yeah, what is it, Pilates, yoga? I mean, he's, <laughs> Break he's, gu he's, gum go. he's Gumby out there, that's for sure. <laughs> really nice drop volley from Tyson. And I actually like Tyson occasionally mixing in uh, a return to the forehand of Hunter Johnson. As I mentioned, that inside out forehand is so good. And it's often what Tyson's opponents do to him. Oh, that's geez. tough. Nothing Tyson could do about that. Six more. Inside out again, down the line, he strikes it, even though Tyson McGuffin seemed to be there, still yeah. couldn't get it. He, he was well on the left side of the center line, Tyson McGuffin, and still can't get a paddle on the ball. Yeah. Yeah, so. Monster serve for Hunter Johnson. And Tyson McGuffin reeling. Trying to pull it inside in that time, but couldn't make it now. A last push here for McGuffin, or else this one seems to be in favor of Hunter Johnson. Yeah, now or never for Tyson. Just get two or three right here. Almost, almost a necessity. Hunter Johnson went big on the pass. Yeah, uh, Tyson running around the backhand to look for a forehand, which is a great option for him, but it will put you out of position sometimes. Well, what an opportunity this is at the bottom half of the draw. You've got Dylan Frazier out of the mix, who won a Grand Slam title to start the year. Ben Johns withdrew. And so you're looking at Grayson Golden and Naveen Beasley, two phenomenal players in their own right. But this is a much different story than what could have been. So for a player like Hunter Johnson, I mean, he could make it he could make it to the final. Yeah, big opportunity, but big pressure. Yeah. They're all tracking the draw. They know who's in it. They know who they might play if they're able to win this, this particular match. So uh, it is definitely mentally trying when you know the draw is opened up. And that's where that experience comes in, right? Where you start to face the bigger names more regularly on the bigger stages and your mental resiliency starts to get tested yeah, it goes, more consistently. Right, it goes from a special circumstance to just another day at the office, and that's huge. A dipping forehand for Hunter Johnson to bring match point on his side at 10-1. Inside out to finish. Hunter Johnson moving on to the quarterfinals. It will be a first for a Grand Slam in his career. What a moment. Match point here. Hunter Johnson taking down Tyson McGuffin. Yeah, upsets of plenty here in Atlanta. Hunter over Tyson, the favorite. But great for Hunter to get through that one. Welcome into the Pickleball TV studio, Cameron Blackwood alongside coach to the stars, Matt Manassi, and a great men's singles match to start us off today. Yeah, Hunter was close last time they played, up a game and up again in game two. This one finished it and finished it fast. A ton of upsets, as we said. We saw Ben Johns go down early, so we're going to look at the draw and take a seat. Let's take a look here. As he said, we have Johns retiring out, Golden moving on, Stax Root Tardio. That's going to be a big one there at the top. Oh, uh, that's going to be an unbelievable match. Stax Root clearly the favorite, but Gabe playing some unbelievable pickleball. Stax Root had a close first game with Roscoe Bellamy, then kind of ran away with it. Pretty typical for him. Let's go ahead and get to our winner now. We have Hunter Johnson with us. Congratulations, Hunter, on this big win here. You faced Tyson in Las Vegas and looked like you were going to have success there as well. Ended up losing in three. What was different about this match here that you were able to close it out? 
Yeah, I mean, Tyson's always a tough opponent. I mean, he's 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 a dog out there, so uh, I just had to bring the dog out in me. Um, I'm glad to have closed it out pretty quick. I had a good day yesterday in singles, so I'm feeling pretty good. Little rainy here. It's <laughs> uh, Little rainy out here, so we came indoors. Um, I think that suits me a little bit better. Um, can kind of play a little faster, get my spin going, so it worked out today. Super happy. Hunter, great job. You were on the bench watching your girlfriend Paris have that big three-game win against Kate Fahey. That gives you any extra Jeez. motivation coming into this one? It's like, I can't lose after seeing her perform so well. Yeah, I mean, geez, that was a, that was a nail biter. Uh, I was trying not to get nervous. I, if you could, you could maybe see me in the back there, just trying to pacing around a little bit, hoping my coaching helped as much as it could. Uh, yeah, she's guy, a fighter, <laughs> so it was really nice to see her win. Um, you know, I just kind of took that energy and ran with it. So I love it. I hope I hope the fingernails weren't all bitten off there. You have Naveen <laughs> Beasley next. Dylan Frazier pulled out there. You're in the quarters. The draw's opening up a little bit. What are your chances really to take it all the way here and get deep here in Atlanta? Yeah, just uh, just kind of focus and, and play my game. I think when I can kind of hone in on my power shots, um, not hitting them too big, not hitting them too soft, it really helps me. Um, I played Naveen before. Um, he's always a kind of tricky guy. He can hit some good winners across every part of the court. So, yeah, just going to watch some film maybe and see, see what I can do to uh, have the match I did today uh, against him maybe. And uh, we know there's more matches there with Paris Todd. Are you going to stay coach on her sideline the rest of today? Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think she she might kill me if I didn't. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think I, think I know my job. Will. So so, <laughs> right? Yeah, her her dad's a uh, you know he's he's scary, but I think Paris is a little scarier. <laughs> well, congratulations, Hunter. Moving on. Good job. Good great win against Tyson. And uh, we're gonna have more here from the pickleball TV studio desk. So you guys do not want to go anywhere. <laughs> 